from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Global beverage manufacturer Coca-Cola's bottling partner, Amalgamated Beverage Industries, or ABI, has invested significantly in an effort to reduce its water use at its bottling plant in Devlin, Johannesburg. Sashni Moodley reports. ABI's 6,000 square meter bottling plant has undergone various retrofits and upgrades to significantly reduce its water use as part of its commitment to sustain scarce resources while improving its operations. ABI plant engineer Louis Hasbrook gives us an overview of the investments made. Currently we had uh, invested significantly in a, a water recovery system which will give us about a 20% reduction in our current water usage. Uh, we also had uh, um, a new system, which is the dry loop, uh, chain loop that we want to dry, semi-dry loop. And then also we had a um, CIP system that we're going to implement or currently busy with. That is currently in progress. So that will give us about a 20% uh, reduction in our water usage. Per year we use 700 million litres of water, average. Uh, we're producing 1.25 litres uh, RGB glass, and then we're producing on PET, we have uh, 2 litres, 2.25 and 0.5 litres, half litres. Other news making headlines this week, Eskom braces for a tough winter. Celsi raises the stakes in a price war by injecting 2.3 billion rand into the network and business is urged to throw its weight behind the NDP to boost South Africa's post-election prospects. State-owned power utility ESCOM will scale down its plans to repair power plants during winter to ensure the country has sufficient electricity supply during this period. In terms of winter, as it is now, it's going to be tight, but we don't foresee any, any um, load shedding for, for, for this period. Next 18, to two, 18 months to two years, it's going to be still tight. Um, but no load shedding is, 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 is in plan, except, except this extraordinary situations do uh, 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 jump on us, as, as happened last week. Um, and I must mention extraordinary. It wasn't, it wasn't um, that it wasn't planned for. It was definitely extraordinary. South Africa's third largest mobile operator has taken the industry-wide price war to the next level as it unveiled a new 66 cent a minute offering along with three new post-paid 79 cent a minute on per second billing products. Two years ago when the new management came in and we took over Celsi, you know, back in 2012, um, our vision was always to bring cost of communications down to the masses to all South Africans. And I think we've achieved that, you know, looking back we went you know, we had all our earrings, we went to court uh, in terms of the MTR and the symmetry. The court made a ruling. And what have you seen after two years? You know, you've seen prices become really, really competitive. The incumbents are dropping price, and today we announced even more attractive pricing down to 66 cents. And we really cemented our position on the prepaid segment of the market. Uh, we, we're doing a phenomenal job that you've seen our growth. Uh, we, you know, in the last four months, we've connected almost as many subscribers that we did the whole of last year. Um, so we've, we cemented that position and we brought this price competitiveness to the contract market and postpaid market today by bringing in a flat rate of 79 cents to postpaid. As South Africa enters its second five-year term with President Jacob Zuma firmly at the helm, Business Unity South Africa has urged the private sector to widen and deepen its engagement with government over the National Development Plan. Well, that is the National Development Plan which you will recall charts a path to 2030, gives us an overarching vision uh, drawn from the Constitution, what we have promised to do. And above all, it encourages both the government and the private sector to take a long-term view and not and try and get out of the short-termism parameter in, in, in which we have been so often found. It's not a perfect plan, but it's, it's pretty good. And I think from a business point of view, we've said all along in the past year or so, it's a plan we can broadly back. It puts the private sector in a very important role in shaping the future, especially small business. And it's a centrist document. It's a pragmatic document. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.